Hello and welcome to this presentation. You'll be learning pile spiral rebar detailing and automatic bar bending schedule BPS generative process in this video. For instance, I have this my pile spiral rebar being detailed successfully. I have to just navigate to the auto rebar 2026 version and I click on the BPS right there and then you see I've generated my BPS successfully. So all of this you will learn in this video. Okay. Now, if this is the first time you see our channel is not freezing, like the video and subscribe to our channel to stay connected with us. Right away, let us get started. At first, we are going to be getting rid of this that I have right here and then I delete that up. So, we start by going to the authority bar tab to enable it just like this or I can just double click on these provisions to make it enable and fixed properly just like this okay so the first thing you do is to do your setting navigate to this setting provision and then in the setting dialog so you can see the unit provision right here the model unit and then the layout unit represents the millimeters and then the rebar dimensions unit all of this you have to set it successfully so i will have all of this in millimeter just like this but if you click in this provisions you can see other unit options so i go by millimeters so i go to the scale which is very important i want to be using scale 1 is to 10 so you can decide to use any scale that you wish depending on this scale that we have here you can add scale using this provision as well okay so these are the two important things that we need to set for now so we get back by clicking on the ok options from here so now we want to start the modeling so we actually going to start with the spiral links or spiral stirrups for the you know piled main reinforcement so just click on it so once you click on that it will ask us to specify the you know the diameter of the reinforcement okay so this is a link so since it's a stirrup or a link i will have to use 10 and then reinforcement so i just hit on the okay option or space bar on the keyboard to accept that so i have to specify the outside diameter you can see the info box right there outside diameter of the you know pile okay so i will have that to be 500 uh, millimeter as you can see from there and enter and then the next thing to specify the pitch of the spiral i will show you what this means but i'm going by 150 millimeters all right and enter so this point at this point we want to <coughs> actually draw the uh spiral uh still up so i'll pick a, a, a particular point and then i move my hand towards the uh, right as you can see i have to specify the length of this still up so, so i want this to be uh, to be 5000 just like this 5000 millimeters and i enter on the keyboard and that is placed successfully so this is the first thing we have uh, actually uh, uh model or drawn successfully this is the spiral or the still up okay the spiral still up as you can see for the tile and here you can see the section of it all right so and this is the diameter as you can see from here the out to out diameter okay so now we want to be creating a, a kind of a main reinforcement main reinforcement so for the main reinforcement we are going to be using this cycle of cross uh, cross air all right this option i'll click on that so once you click on that i have to define the you know the diameter of reinforcement i'll be using 20 mm reinforcement so i enter so the next thing is the space okay between the reinforcement all right i will use 250 uh, millimeter space between the reinforcement i enter and then the next is to specify the center of this cycle or of this uh link right here i pick at that center and i move my hand you can see it is creating it automatically so you can see how smart and intelligent this particular tool is so i'll move my hand towards the directions and i will zoom closely and make sure i place it extra right here i click here i go you can see i have one two three four five and then six uh main uh reinforcement for my you know pile okay so now i will proceed to create the main reinforcement i have to use this tool right here so this is really bad i pick on that i have to specify the diameter of the reinforcement which is 20 right there i enter so for the length of the reinforcement so i'll be having a kind of a hook all right this hook is going to be I'll uh, have a hook of 300 millimeters, so I'll type 300 millimeters for my hook. I'll enter and move my hand this way. 
actually you know we have this asset 5000 okay as the length but i'll just take this length as to be 5500 uh, millimeters so i will type on the keyboard 5500 as the length and enter and that will give me that point so i will also have a hook at this other side so i'll take my hand this way I have a hook of uh, 300 millimeters right here and then i enter so i have that being placed i'll just have to right click and enter to finish with the uh you know the main reinforcement this is the main reinforcement so now i'll copy this from here i use copy on the keyboard and then i'll move this from here to this point to properly to properly place it right here just like this okay so you can see what i have now so with this i have to get rid of this particular one e on the keyboard to delete i'll select on this as well and i'll have to mirror and navigate to the home i use the mirror option from here so i look at the center point of this by moving my pointer along this point i click move on this way and i click right here i'll use no option so i can have both so you can see what i get from here i'll have another one at the center okay i'm trying to you know add the main reinforcement so i'll have to copy this one and take it to the center so i'll move this to the center right here i, I click right there okay let me adjust it just like this you can see okay so this is our uh pile foundation uh reinforcement successfully i'll adjust this done what just like this to have something like this okay all right so we are done with it uh, modeling and the detailing just like this so we proceed to actually max this bar successfully okay so to mark the bar what you just need to do and navigate to the authority bar 20 26 tab right yeah and then use this option of mark this one so i will start by marking the the stirrups so i'll select on that and i mark this stirrup from here so you can see the diameter i click right there and click to have it placed so this is the diameter and this is the length of the stirrup okay let's say for instance we are having this type of pile into 10 places okay so i will double click on this uh you know this uh, annotation double click on that and then you have this window edit mark okay so in the edit mark this is actually a link okay so here in this tag provision you will type in the link or you can use stirrup so i will use stirrups okay so you can use just stirrups all right now if i type stirrup right here or i can just choose to use link links just like this all right so the number is one actually so if i need like 10 number of it i will type here to be 10 okay i'll type here to be 10 all right so this we double it to 10 so now what happens originally we have n as one which is the number of it so now if i click on the okay options you can see we are having 10 of it right now and the name is being assigned as links one okay so now we have assigned our annotations to the link we need to assign also an annotation to the main reinforcement so i'll click on the mark right here and pick on the main reinforcement right here and then i'll first of all click at this point to have it placed originally it is just one now you need to calculate and to know the number of these okay so now in this provisions now we have about one two three four five and then six of it all right in this particular uh in this particular you know in this particular pile okay so to actually incorporate that actually we double click on that mark so in this provision you give it a name as the main reinforcement or you can just call it main rebar okay so over here for the spacing of it the spacing between this is actually 250 all right the spacing is 250 okay so 250 into how many that will give us this six for for one pile into 250 into if you navigate right there and check you know you see that you have 250 into 1.25 we give us six of this 
all right so over here originally n is one so we need you want n to be six okay so if i click on the okay let me see from here so you can see that n now is six which is the total number is six and the spacing is 250 right here and the name is men rebars successfully so it is six actually if you count from here from the section one two three four five and six so you are seeing the six right here okay so let's say we are making this for 10 numbers of uh, of main reinforcement of of course 10 numbers of a pile of this kind okay just as we have the link for 10 so what would you do double click on the mark right here and then you go to where you have the bundle data over here you type 10 so this will be multiplied by this 6 to give us 60. Click on the OK options. So you can see we have 60. So for the main reinforcement, we have 60 of this length. Okay, 60 of this length. Okay, which we actually correspond with the, you know, spiral uh, links or spiral stirrups successfully for 10 of this uh, type of, uh, you know, pi length. Okay. So now we are done with our annotations and detailing. Okay, so once you are done like this, and you are sure, check and cross check what you have done successfully, if everything is okay from here. For me now, I'm done, everything is good. Okay, you proceed to generate your bar bending shuttle, which you now have to navigate to this BBS. So you don't even need to select the detailing you have done. Okay, you don't need to select the pie detailing you have done, just navigate to the BBS and click it once. Once you click it, here we go. You can see I will click right here. This is our bar bed schedule. Well organized. Okay, you can see for the links right here. We have the diameter to be 10. So this is the sections and this is the length. Alright, that we consider. So you can see the cut length right here. This is the cut length, and this is the mass each bar. In kg, we have the total number to be 10. All right, this is for the links. Come to the main reinforcement, we have the number to be 20, like the diameter to be 20. All right, and this is the main reinforcement cut length given right here. So, over here, you can see the uh cut length, and this is like the bar, uh, the bar shape. This is the bar shape actually. Okay, and then this one is the cut length. So you can see from here we have the mass in each pass. We we'll have the total to be 60. All right, just as we calculated, and we have the total length right here, and everything is being organized successfully. Over here you see the total mass right here, which you can use to, to purchase it in the market successfully. So this is how you can successfully create a bar uh, bending schedule for a piled spiral stirrup successfully. And the main reinforcement you can see from here successfully so if you have any question drop it in the comment sections and at this point i would like us to proceed click on subscribe if you are still not subscribed to our channel of reason like this video so you can stay connected for more videos like this okay we are going to be stopping here have a great day and bye for now